Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Hope you're having a great day and thank you so much for joining me. And today I'm gonna to share with you about a very affordable smartphone video kit, especially if you might be on a budget, you might be just getting going. But here's what's so cool about this kit by a company called US Key Vision is that you can also use this for your mirrorless camera and also your GoPro. So it has a lot of great uses. It comes with a microphone and a light. Look forward to demoing it. Uh, for you and I'll put a link to this kit for you. So if you are on, on a budget, want to be under $100, then this kit may work very well for you and you'll get a feel uh, for the audio as well as the lighting and I'll timestamp this video so you can go to that part of the video if you want. Uh, this kit in fact is under $60 and I'll put the link to it down below so make sure to click on that. You could read the reviews and if it makes sense you can order it. And by the way, if you find this video of help, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and find any value, then click that subscribe button. And of course, the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So, US Key Vision makes nice products, very affordable, very useful. And in this case, they've put together a nice kit. Uh, this is the box that it comes in, if you were curious. Uh, this is the casing that it comes in. You could see the foam cutouts for all the parts and you've got your mesh pocket there. And then also has an instruction booklet as well. So there you go. And by the way, this does have a handle and perfect for putting in your bag. It's not too big and you could take it on the go with you. All right, so let's talk about the different components to it and then I'll put it together. So first you have the handle tripod. Uh, this uh, is great, it's an extender. It also has a ball joint, so it has got a pretty much any direction you need to have it go into. And a ball joint is so useful. They do sell products that have separate ball joints, but it's nice that that's included. And so you can adjust the angle when you are using this. Uh, this does have rubberized bottom uh, on the legs. And so when it stays, it will, will stay on the surface. It won't scratch it as well. Then you've got the adapter piece for your phone. You've got the cold shoe mount and you've got your thread for 3.5 millimeter thread on the back and on the bottom. Now here's the thing about the way the locking mechanism is. You could see that. Now I've got a Google Pixel 5 phone. I've got a, a case on it. If you've got something else on the back of your case, you're not going to uh, be able to have it stay well uh, the way it, it's set up. Now you can see there it's on and it stays well within the grooves even with the case on. But again, I had this on the back of my phone which you can see this is a little stand that pops out and um, I had to take it off to use it with this mount. So do keep that in mind. That's one of the things that I had shared with the company about and they're aware of that. But otherwise it seems like it's uh, well made. And then you have the light. And with the light, it does have three levels of light. It does charge. Uh, it does come with, uh, this is a micro USB cable. Got so many of those. And then there's your button for turning on and you hold it for a few seconds. It does have a diffuser. So if you need that, so you've got a low, medium and high. And then this is low, medium and high. And I'll go into a dark setting so you could see how well uh, this light is. It's, it's a white light uh, and there you go. And then it does have the cold shoe mount uh, for right there on the top for which next is for the microphone. And this is a directional microphone. So it's going to pick up what the microphone sees. And then you've got your connector on the back. It does not need power when using this microphone. And as far as the cables for the microphone, it comes with a couple of cables because depending on what you're connecting it to. If you are using a, a micro or a type C connector, like my Google Pixel 5, you will need an adapter piece, which does not come with it. And I will uh, show you how to set that up. So you, again, you got uh, two different types of connectors depending upon the device that you have. Then you also have the foam muff. Uh, if you find that you wanna Use that, and then also for the wind, you got the wind muff as well. It's kind of flat from being in the case, but over time that, that should round out. And then last but not least, if you have a GoPro, um, you probably have one of these, but if not, you'll have one of these 
to go and there you go you can easily connect that to the top of the tripod stand and there you go all right now let's build this out so first things first you're gonna have to put the adapter on there and that screws on there you go next up we are gonna do the light and light locks right in with the hot and cold shoe mount and there you go Whoop, I gotta do it the other way there we go now one of the things that when I was uh, using this at first for testing it out I would I, I, I noticed I saw this rattling and so I wrote to the company and so what they explained to me is when the phone is not in it's gonna sound like it's rattling uh, but as soon as I put my and connected my phone as they said and there goes the diffuser put that down for now now you could see it's on there and it will stay on while it doesn't have that rattling so if, if you see that rattling you know just keep in mind that's why um, it rattles because it needs the phone to lock it in place all right next up we are going to put the microphone on and then again just locks in with the cold and hot shoe mount and there you go now you can see this is very high uh, the way this is set up quite the uh, quite the setup now I'm gonna put the diffuser back on I am gonna go ahead and lock my phone in place got slippery hands and you know some of the phones got the buttons right there in the middle which is one of the things I don't love about my pixel phone but that's all right so you can see as we adjust this this will stay and there you go now one of the things which I like as well is you can adjust the angle of the way of your device so uh, it makes it easier for holding and then of course you could make it into a shorter stubbier um, way of setting that up all right so there we go now for my phone I have the connector you could see it's got for the phone connector uh, this piece here this side goes into the connector and then this will go into the back of the microphone like that it's coming along starting to look professional and I'll put the foam on and now we are good to go so what I'm going to do now is switch to my phone and shoot the rest of this video using this kit and so I will shoot some in here and then I will go into a dark area and then also outside so you can hear what it sounds like both inside as well as outside and then again be sure to click on the link in the description so here we go switching to my phone now okay so now we're using my google pixel 5 the audio is the microphone and the light is turned off so just wanted you to hear it and see without the light on the microphone if i were to turn the microphone to the side you can hear the difference in audio you can hear the difference in audio and the microphone right in front again you can adjust and now I am holding the microphone further away from me now it's really much closer and again do keep in mind the microphone is high above and right in front of your face now we're going to go ahead and turn the light on and we'll walk into a darker area so now I want to do the test with the lighting and what you're currently looking at is the light on low with the diffuser on again this is the light with the diffuser on and now I'm going to go ahead and change it to medium this is with the diffuser on with the light on medium as well as we do have the microphone connected to my phone and now we've got the diffuser on with brightness on high the brightness is on high now I'm gonna go ahead and take the diffuser off and now you're seeing the brightness without the diffuser on uh, this is on low this is medium brightness 
and this is on high. So again, you had the low, medium, high. So now I'm doing additional testing indoors with the microphone comparison to the audio without the microphone and my Google Pixel 5. The microphone is connected to my Google Pixel 5. Again, this is what I sound like with the microphone connected to my Google Pixel 5. And now you're listening to the audio that's going directly to my Google Pixel 5 microphone without the microphone connected. Again, this is the audio indoors without the microphone connected to my Google Pixel 5. So now we're doing an audio test outside. Uh, this is currently coming directly from my Google Pixel 5 audio, not using the microphone. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the microphone so you can hear the difference. Again, this is my Google Pixel 5 phone and your phone may sound different than mine, but at least we'll give you an idea in comparison. So let me go ahead and plug it up. Okay, so now you are hearing the microphone connected to my Google Pixel 5 phone. I think for a kid, it does sound like clear audio. And I was curious, leave any comments below of what you think of how the audio sounds in comparison to my Google Pixel 5 and generally your overall thoughts on the sound quality. So be sure to click on the link in the description down below where you get more information on the kit. And if you are somebody that's on a budget and getting going and looking for something that might provide audio as well as some lighting, then this kit may be for you. Leave any comments or questions you have and I'll be sure to answer those back. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.